Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to, oh geez, welcome to another episode of Different by Design. As you can see, my move from Iowa to Texas is going extremely smoothly. That's sarcasm if you haven't already picked it up. Of course it's me, so it's gonna be one misadventure at a time, right? Well, this one certainly hasn't disappointed. Now, this big brown turd did follow me all the way from Iowa to Texas. She doesn't run, she doesn't drive, but hey, why not throw it on a trailer and drive it 800 miles? So here we are in Texas, after all, looking for new adventures and new opportunities down here in the Lone Star State. I've left Iowa mainly to pursue a bigger and brighter career. Now I won't name any names, but the company that I do work for has been around just about as long as Studebaker. Now these are exciting times for myself, and I really am excited about this opportunity. I'm grateful for the people that I'm gonna meet along the way and the adventures that I might seek out here in the coming years. It's really great to be back in Texas after all. I'm looking forward to meeting back up with the Dallas-Fort Worth Studebaker Club. And who knows, maybe I'll even buy a better Studebaker, one that's got a little bit better starting place. But as we all know, sometimes it's just hard to part with old friends. And I mean that in the most sincere way about my own Studebaker and the people that I left behind in Iowa. Now in the previous video, I showed my little workshop in my apartment garage. Now it's the same deal, I've still got an apartment garage, I'm just in a different state. And once I get the workshop set up with all my tools and equipment, I'll be able to do a video on how I have it set up. But I'm guessing it's going to be kind of similar, except this one is a little bit better. It's got more lighting, and overall it's just a little bit nicer. You know, instead of making videos about freezing my ass off in the middle of winter, now I can make videos about frying my ass off in the middle of summer. But let's get back to the main story, which is about how I moved this vehicle twice in two years, 800 miles across the country. Now a huge shout out because this journey began in Ames, Iowa with my friend Mike. Mike helped me load this car up onto the U-Haul trailer. We had to push it out of the garage and then use a come along or a winch to be able to get this on the trailer. And it wasn't exactly a fun experience since it was about negative 13 degrees outside. Once we got it loaded up and on the road, then we hit the blizzard. Now this wasn't the first blizzard this car has encountered in the last two years. When I was moving from Texas to Iowa the first time, I encountered a massive blizzard in Oklahoma City. Now as you can see here, I'm just trying to give it a good once over with some wax and try and polish it up a little bit, basically removing any road salt. Now I'm not really sure why I'm going to all this trouble considering what's the worst that could happen, that it rusts out? It's already rusted out. This thing was already rusting probably two to three decades before I was even born. So who the heck am I saving this for? I guess I just really, really want a nice looking show quality parts car. You know, something that really catches your eye at the local junkyard. There were some further mishaps on our work journey down here. Of course, in the beginning of the video, you saw the mishap when we were trying to unload the trailer. I did make a mistake and left the door open while we were trying to get it off the trailer. And I had some hired help that was trying to give me a hand to unload it, put it into the garage that it's sitting in now. Now mistakes do happen, and it's a great thing that this car is the way it is because really, it's been a great proving ground for me to own my first classic car. I made a ton of mistakes with this car, and yes, it's kind of the perfect platform because not exactly concourse quality. Now if there's anything that I've ever learned in life, it's that sometimes you gotta make mistakes to be able to learn. Unfortunately, I make a lot of mistakes. I'm not sure about the whole learning part sometimes. I'll finish up by showing you the rest of the waxing process that I went through, and I hope to make another video soon. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah.